Hi, Ferret family. Welcome to episode two of How to Use Your Traveler Like a Pro. Last week, we talked about how to get started on your device, including how to connect to Wi-Fi, how to start a new draft, and how to use the folder system. This week, we're going to talk about how to move your cursor and how to page through your drafts. Now, the Traveler is designed with a very compact keyboard without additional room for traditional arrow keys. So in order to move your cursor, you will need to know a couple of special hotkeys. But don't worry, it's very easy to learn. And once you get the hang of it, very straightforward. Let me show you how. Now, to use the moving cursor function, simply hold down the new key and use the W, A, S, D keys to move the cursor up, down, left, and right, respectively. As you can see, it's a very similar layout to the arrow key cluster on a traditional keyboard. There are also arrow markings on the W, A, S, D keys here so that you don't have to memorize anything. There are a couple different ways to move the cursor within a draft. The simplest way is also the fastest. I'll show you what it looks like on the screen. Press new plus the WASD command and the cursor will jump one word at a time, left and right. And it will jump one paragraph up and down within a draft. Pro tip, you can also delete by word by holding down new and backspace instead of deleting by character. We found it's much faster this way to delete like this and retype the full word rather than fixing tiny mistakes by navigating within the word. Alternatively, you can also use the combination new shift and then the WASD keys to jump one letter or character left and right. Or a single line up and down within a draft. Same thing, holding new shift. A single line up and down. Say I'm typing and I want to add a sentence to the previous paragraph. I'm going to hold down new, go to the previous paragraph by pressing up, and then navigate to the word I want by holding down new, pressing right. And I'm going to move one character or one space to the right by holding new shift right. And now we can add a sentence or a word to your document. Now, once we're done inserting our sentence, we can then quickly navigate back to where we were typing by using the new plus down command. So now I'm back to the bottom of my draft. So as you've seen, the moving cursor function can be very helpful for helping you make in-place edits within a draft. Remember though, free rights and travelers are designed to be the ultimate drafting machine to help you move forward that means saving your editing for later on a computer. If you don't absolutely need to make the edit, just keep going. So now you know how to make edits on your device. But what if you simply want to refer back to earlier pages without making any changes? You can do this by using the dedicated page up and page down buttons. Now, unlike the moving cursor function, pressing page up and page down will not move the actual cursor. So you can quickly check back in the document and read over your draft with page up and then continue on typing where you left off by pressing page down again. Now let's review the commands we've covered. New plus WASD allows you to move your cursor one word left and right or one paragraph up and down. New Shift and the WASD command allows you to move one character or one space left and right and one single line up and down. 
New backspace allows you to delete one entire word instead of one single character. And finally, page up and page down allows you to navigate throughout your entire document without moving your cursor. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of How to Use Traveler Like a Pro. We hope you've learned something new about how to use the moving cursor function on your device. Next week, we're going to be talking about how to update your firmware. So be sure to check back for our new episode. To learn more about how writers like yourself have more than doubled their writing productivity using our products, be sure to subscribe below. And don't forget to submit your entry to our Into Focus writing competition. Open now. Submissions close February 15th, 2021. So do not miss out on your opportunity to win a $400 gift card to the Freewrite store. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Happy writing and see you next week.